We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Looks like Volkswagen sent us an Atlas Cross Sport to drive. Nice looking vehicle. Nice paint job. We did do a full week road test on this in a separate video, but for this video here, we're going to be doing the night drive and headlight test only. So let's go do it. If you want to see the full road test, we'll have a link at the end of this video. Alright, stark enough. Let's see how these headlights perform as well as other features. And I see we have the Volkswagen emblem on the grill lighting up. These lights are so potent, they're messing up the autofocus on my camera. They're pretty bright. I guess that's a good sign. And here's the view from the rear. With another VW emblem. They want you to know it's a Volkswagen. And here we have the emergency blinkers. A little bit on the tiny side, but seem bright enough. Got blinkers on the mirror. And we have blinkers around the front headlight, but being drowned out by the center lights. Oh yeah, now we can see them. These are bright. With the headlights off, that is. Again, small but bright. The cabin lights are pretty powerful. Lights up the inside very well, including the rear. And here we have the camera system, pretty good resolution. Here the starter button and the shifter lights up pretty good. Here's to do the overhead controls. One complaint I had in my daytime video, here's the temperature control for the air conditioning. Blue for cold and red for hot and the volume control for the radio. In order to see them you have to have the cabin lights on. Turn the cabin lights off. They become very hard to see unless you have a lot of light on the info screen. Without much light in the info screen, you can't see them at all. So that means when you're driving, you want to turn the temperature up or down, or the radio volume up or down, you can't see squat. Now, how did this get into production? Not good. Okay, let's get the headlight test going. You know, we have a wall 33 yards away, low beams on. Very bright, good height, widespread. Good to go. Now we got the high beams, very strong in the center, very bright. Let's do some long distance. These are the low beams, really reaching out. Wow, high beams, what a floodlight. Lit up the whole side of the building. These are fantastic headlights. Also, these are active headlights. That means they swivel in the same direction as you're turning the steering wheel. The movement's not as radical as some other vehicles I've driven, but they do turn enough, which comes in very handy when you're taking corners. Allows you to see what's on the other side. Plus, it looks like we have some side lights that light up when you turn the wheel as well. So you don't run over winos in the parking lot. If you watch my videos, you know I cannot stand auto dimming mirrors. Unless they have a disconnect switch, because I don't want to drive with black light headlights to city traffic. I don't think it's safe. Apparently there's no disconnect on this mirror. I can't find anything in the infotainment system either. So you're either stuck with it or you put some tape over the sensor hole to turn it off. Those are your choices. Alrighty, with these uh, fantastic headlights, I don't think we're going to have a problem driving in these dark, dingy streets. Even on low beam, we're lighting up everything. And with these active headlights and side lights, taking corners as a breeze, you're seeing everything around the corner. I go to high beam. Reaches out. Now let's try again. Low beam. High beam. That's about uh, 
a mile away. Well, no complaints here. All right, let's get on the freeway, light up some signs. Reaching out. One thing I've noticed, any time you turn the vehicle off and turn it back on again, the headlights go in automatic mode. If you don't want automatic, you have to reset each time you start the car. If you like automatic headlights, fine. If you don't, your finger is going to be busy turning it off. And we got some emergency signs that will be lit up. There we go. Looks like we got a bunch of construction going on tonight. A lot of signs to eliminate. As I said before in the video, these are very potent lights. And I don't think anybody is going to be disappointed. When I take long trips at night, I prefer to turn the illumination down on the gauge cluster and infotainment screen. In most vehicles, there's usually a knob to do that somewhere into the gauge cluster, but there does not appear to be anything like that on this vehicle. I cannot find any way to turn down this illumination. So if you know how to do it, make a comment in the comment section. Well, the rain's coming down, so we have to end the headlight test, but I would say we definitely passed. These are nice headlights, and everything worked just fine. By the way, I forgot to show you the light show we get in this vehicle. The blue trim. I tried to find a program to change the colors, but I'm not sure it's there. I didn't find it. Fancy, fancy. Well, that includes our headlight test and night drive, and I think it did pretty good. You want to see the full road test? Here's a link coming up. Just click and watch and subscribe.